Zach here with Service Training, and in this video with the Symbio Service and Installation app, we're gonna go in and adjust a couple of set points and just go through that real quick. So again, we're on the home screen, we're in the app, and we're already connected. If you haven't seen that, uh, go check out that video on how to get connected here. And then while you're looking around, be sure to check out any of the other videos that we have on the Symbio Installation and Service app uh, here. All right, so back to it. We're gonna go ahead and jump over here to the settings tab and we're gonna make our way down and pretty much when we see the green text along the left-hand side or right-hand side here, we can go ahead and make some changes. So maybe we actually wanna put this into external BAS control. Um, and now we're gonna look for set points from the building automation system. Uh, we can also come in and we can make some adjustments to, uh, here we go, we got a couple. Uh, space cooling set point high limit. So how high do we wanna let the space cooling set point be adjusted to? Well, 90 is a little high, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 82. Whatever's gonna work for your building or your facility, I'm just kind of making numbers as we go along here. Um, but for me, 82 seems like a pretty reasonable number to. You know, let's not set the cooling set point any higher than that. Uh, same thing, space cooling set point, low limit. Well, I don't know, 50 is a little cold. I don't know that we really need to be able to adjust the space down to 50. Uh, so maybe we're gonna go ahead and set that and maybe we'll let them adjust that down to, down to 68 or some number like that. So again, you got the green text. We just, you know, touch and we can make edits. And these are basically setting uh, the default level set points um, for the system and or at the unit level. Uh, there's our unoccupied cooling set point, that's 85. Again, maybe that's a little high. Maybe we wanna, you know, maybe we wanna make that uh, 83 and hit apply and you're done. I mean, you're done making uh, set points um, uh, for that. We can come over here and we can make some adjustments to things like uh, filter runtime. Well, you know, maybe it doesn't take 400 hours uh, for our filters uh, to, to get dirty. You know, maybe it, maybe it only takes, uh, maybe not 3,000, maybe it only takes 300 hours. Uh, and at that point in time, we're going to go ahead and get that, you know, filter runtime uh, diagnostic, so, or um, informational diagnostic. Uh, so we've got other settings here. We've got some things that have to do with uh, cooling capacity, demand limit. So if demand limit um, is triggered, uh, we may want to demand limit that unit to 50%. So we'll only allow 50% of the cooling to come on. Um, do we want to let the cooling lockout BAS be in effect or not? We can toggle that normal or locked out. So uh, your settings are gonna vary based on unit configuration. So everything that I have here may or may not be present in a unit that you have in front of you. Um, again, it is gonna be, since it's a points-based controller, it is gonna be based on that unit configuration. So you'll just have to kind of look through what you got under settings and then adjust it accordingly um, based on your site and your facility. So those are some adjustments and set points and items that we can change in the settings tab. If we go over to the status tab, we've got a few things we can change, but we're a little more limited because the status tab really is just that. It's the status, it's the current operating status in the unit. So we can actually go through here and we can, uh, again, kind of the, the green text is a, is a good uh, thing to key into is the you know can I can I make some changes is there something I can adjust here um, doesn't always mean there's something to adjust but we can so uh, there's a space temperature BAS I I could temporarily override that I could run that um, to uh, maybe I want to say it's 78 and there we go. And we see our space temperature arbitrator just went to 78 because if you recall, back under the settings, I put the unit into BAS control. So when I change 
that BAS temperature, now the unit thinks that space temperature is 78 degrees because we told it to use that um, BAS value. So we can adjust that. Uh, I could come over here and adjust my outside air temperature BAS. Now, why would you be doing this? Well, if you needed to test things out or you wanted to check things and make sure everything was communicating and, and commissioned and, and going through, you could do that. And you actually see that our uh, outdoor air temperature arbitrator says 85 degrees. Um, because again, we put the unit into the BAS network control. Uh, occupied cooling set point BAS, 72.9 currently. Uh, maybe I want to adjust that. And maybe I'm going to make that 71. Now I'm going to hit apply and it's going to come up here and it's, you see it's purple. We got occupied cooling set point BAS is in purple. That's actually kind of important. If I go back into it, we'll notice it says that there's 29 minutes remaining. So whenever you have a value where the, the name is in purple, so in this case, occupied cooling set point BAS, and then we got the green text next to it so we can override it. What that means is we're gonna make a temporary override for 30 minutes. And once 30 minutes has gone by, that unit is going to release back to its default value. So it's kind of important to know that if, uh, if you come in and you override something here, like this occupied cooling set point BAS, it's a, it's a timed or temporary override. Um, if we don't want to wait 29 minutes, uh, which we don't because we don't want this to be a 29 minute video, we could actually just hit release override. And now that override's released, we see it went back to 72.9. And if we click back into it, we notice there's no override present on that particular point. So again, these points, these values, they're going to be based on your unit configuration. It's a points-based controller. So we're only gonna get the points and the values that make sense for the device that we have in front of us. So there's a quick video on using the Symbio service and installation app and adjusting some settings and some set points in your Symbio 700 controller. Again, be sure to like and subscribe this channel to uh, keep up to date and check out more future, more content as we have it available. And again, if you need to uh, check out these links for any of the other videos in our Symbio service and installation app playlist. Thanks and have a great day.